Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you how I trade the 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. DR IDR session. Okay, since I put up the last video on DR and IDR and trading it with ICT Concepts, I've had several messages and people reach out on Twitter asking me how if I could do another video showing it. So here's the video. I'm going to show you. We're going to do candle by candle. This is a five minute chart. So if you're done like I do, you trade the morning uh, silver bullet, sometimes the London silver bullet, and then sometimes the PM silver bullet. If you're looking for something to trade after the silver bullet hour until the PM session starts, I highly suggest you look at DR and IDR and you can trade it with the ICT concepts. So let's uh, get started here and I'll explain it as we go. So let me just start off by saying this gray uh, this gray box is the IDR box right now. It's from candle body to candle body from 1.30 to 10.30 on the five minute chart. That's what the box is, okay? And then you can see the lines going out here. That's the IDR line. And then the DR line is from the furthest wick to wick so it's in that in the same 9 30 to 10 30 range okay that's the dr and that line is extended what we want to see is we want to see price break through a dr line okay and at that point what that tells us the re whole point of dr is that says that for the rest of the session until the next dr session that the op opposing dr line should not be breached and you have like a 70% chance that it won't. Okay, so that kind of gives you a directional bias, right? So if it breaks out here, it shouldn't cross on here. So your stop was here, seven out of 10 times, you, you, your stop should not be taken out. That's good information as a trader, right? So I look for setups that are very clear and, and perfectly aligned with ICT concepts, and that's all I trade it for. There's other things you can do to get um, probabilities based on the last 20 years on what it should do and shouldn't do. I don't necessarily need that. I just use DR and ICT concepts. So let's see what happens here. And again, this is Tuesday, the 25th of July. And we can't just have a wick. It has to be a body close. So that doesn't quite count. Okay. The wick went through, yay, but the, we need to have a body close above it. Okay, that closed out of it. You see the green arrow, and you also see these dashed lines. This is my own indicator. It does a bunch of other things. I included the, the DR, IDR on it. You can use a free indicator. And in my first video on DR, IDR, I show you how to use that and how to set it up. So you can have the same thing on your chart. So what this tells me is we should be going long. Okay, so right now... 70% chance that this bottom line will not be broken with price. It shouldn't close below that. It could wick below it, but it won't close below that line. Okay? So now that's telling me I should be looking for longs. When I do, I look and see that there's a small fair value gap right here. It's a order, small order block. This is an order block right here. Well, let's see how, how high it goes. Now, if it goes all the way up to the one deviation... Before it comes down, I, I'd rather it come up here and then come down and, and get in somewhere in this area is what I'd like to be right in here, preferably. Closer to the line, the better. But if there's a fair, if this opens up and it leaves a fair value gap, I'll take a trade like that, just knowing that it could potentially come down further. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, so it does leave a fair value gap right there. This, again, this is a five-minute chart, okay? Yeah, that came in. Let's look for a close inside there. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to buy two contracts right there. Okay. Buy them there. Let's put our long position on. Go below. That's just like a fair value gap. Yeah, one tick below. And then risk one to two. So seven and a half. That's one to two right there. Uh, we can look for structure. And if we did that, this is on a 15 minute. 
go back all the way over here. The 15 minute right here is the high. That's that draw on liquidity right there. Okay. That's what we're at. We could be aiming for that up here. Okay, so let's just see how it goes here. See another entry. Yeah, it wicked in there, but no candle body is below uh, consequent encroachment, so we're still good. The bias is still for longs. And I'm fairly confident now at this point that we're going to go higher. We've gotten one, two, three, top of it, four, five times that's come inside there. It's respected it once there, once there, so obviously it doesn't want to go below consequent encroachment, so that's good. All right, so we're leaving behind a fair value gap right here. All right, so if I would have moved my stop down to 2 to 1, you would have got 2 to 1 right there. And that's where I have my arrow right there as 1 to 2 for this one. So this one, we'll let it play out. But we're gonna, That's where I would have tar taken if we were still doing that. But right now, let's move it up here and let's just see if we get it, you know, where, where it goes. Just keep going with it. But at that point, since we would have closed right here for our two line, let's let's take one position off and let's sell one there just to mark it. And then let's see what, what happens. Now, if it comes back down into this one and we're still targeting that, this see from here to there is eight. Yeah, I'd take another trade. And from here down is two and a half to get below that so if, you know yeah i'd take another trade if it comes down here i'll take another trade well we do two contracts so let's buy two there um and let's um buy two there let's pull a fib if we pull a fib from here to here that's in close to optimal trade entry. It's definitely in discount. So that's good from the, pulling our fib from here to here. So that's that's good. Take the fib off. We are lying there. Our stop goes below that. And then this is just 4 to 1 or 1 to 4. So let's see how this happens. Now if I come above this 1, I'll take... A partial somewhere in there so let's get this down to one because I don't want to take two partials off and if we cross this line I'll take one off because that's what have been this trade uh, it didn't didn't break above it didn't close above it it would have taken us out but Trading view, gotta wait for a closed candle to do it. You know what? That's close. But I need one to close. The rules are rules. One will close, close. Alright, perfect. Alright, so I can sell one there. That's this partial for this one. Okay, so I got to take one if I close above this. Move that over here. I got to take another one off. Ooh, really close. Uh, nope, got to wait for it. All right, I'm flattening at that point because that would take us all out. Right there. Okay, so sell. Okay, so what you saw was using the DR IDR methods. Okay, 
Candle closed in the five minute above the DR line. It left behind a fair five minute fair value gap. Price came down. We took our trade, knowing that our stop was here. But we also know that if we wanted an extremely safe stop, we'd put it down here. But that's taking on way too much risk, right? I'd rather be in, out, and if I'm wrong, readjust. If price came through and took me out, all I would be doing would be looking at this order block here. we been looking at this order block and seeing how it respected that, and then it would have got in again to go longer. That's all I would have done. I know that I have a 70% chance of likely that we're going to close above this line by the end of the day up here. So if I'm halfway through like here, I'd take it. Ideally, I love taking trades when it comes back in here on the inside range, close to the 50%. I love that taking those trades because usually you can go to either one, one and a half, somewhere in here, uh, standard deviation. So you get quite a bit of room. But I only trade during 11 to 1.30. So since I'm in this trade, I'm letting it play out into the PM session. But if I'm, I usually try and get in and out of my trades by the time 1.30 starts. If it is, then I'll skip the PM session on a silver bullet because I'm already in a trade and I'll just let it play out. Or I may enter again because of the silver bullet on the one minute time frame. But I'm still monitoring this trade on the five minute. Oh, that doesn't get too confusing, but on this trade, we price closed. We know it's going to be 70% chance of longs, so we got in here. We went one to two. Here was our one to two. We ended up getting our trade fulfilled completely there. Trade came up and left another fair value gap. We took our fib from the swing low here to the swing high. Let me throw that up there, fib. Swing low to swing high. We know that we're in discount. We're in optimal trade entry. We're in a fair value gap here. Take that trade. Got in there. The top fair value gap. Aimed still for our draw, which is on a higher time frame draw on liquidity on the 15 minute. And we took our trade and got out at partials and managed our trade. Got $1,725 in profit based on this scenario. And that is how I trade the DR IDR during the lunch session or from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. on the five-minute chart.